Welcome to We Repair Stuff. Today we're doing a quick disassembly guide and demo on how to replace a vibrate motor in an iPhone 6 Plus. Um, it's one of the more fiddly jobs, but it's um, it's fairly straightforward to do. First thing we do, um, strip out the two pentalobe screws from the base of the iPhone, um, and then we can pop the screen open. Um, there are a number of ways of doing it. Um, either you can get your nail under the screen. Um, if, you're, if you've got decent nails, but um, just do it carefully. Or you can use something pointy again, you've got to be quite carefully. I've got a little tool that allows me to basically stick a little sucker on the bottom the top of the screen and pop it open. Just like that. Um, the next thing we need to do is disconnect the battery. Um, as always, it's the very first thing we do. Um, it means that we won't cause any damage to the motherboard whilst we're working on it. Um, after that, we will disconnect the screen assembly. Um, it just makes life easier when you're working on fiddly jobs. You don't have to do it, um, but it is it is overall easier to, to replace parts. So again, lift the battery connector up, either with a spudger or your nail, if you can get it under there. Um, next thing to do is, is remove the five screws from the um, metal cover that, that hides the connectors. In this case, there's four, because this, screw, this um, iPhone's been worked on before and one's been went lost. So just remove that metal cover, and the next thing we need to do is pop up the four connections um, to the LCD digitizer, um, home button flex, and the front camera assembly. So once that's done, um, we need to disconnect the bottom dock. Um, and we've got a couple of screws to remove. So there's two overall. There's one um, at the bottom of the metal, first part of the metal bracket. And then once we've removed the bottom dock, We'll remove the other one. Some of the screws don't come out very well, but um, just unscrew them fully. So remove the second screw that's under that uh, the dock assembly flex, and then we should be able to lift the vibrate motor out. The flex sometimes gets in the way, so just do it carefully. There's also a Wi-Fi cable under it as well, so just go careful. If it disconnects, you will have to reconnect it. Um, it's normally attached to the side of the vibrate motor. Um, in this case, everything came out cleanly. So we have a new one. Um, we we pop the vibrate motor back onto the cable again and then push everything down very carefully uh, avoiding the um, bottom dock connection um, so we just sort of fold that over and then we can get everything down next thing we need to do is pop the two screws back in um, so one at the base of the metal connection they are a little bit fiddly to align so just take it really slowly and you'll be absolutely fine and the other one under the um, under the, the, the flex cable once we've done that we pop the dock connector back in place check the Wi-Fi aerial is connected OK um, and then we can reattach the screen so again screen gets attached really quickly um, you just pop the five connections down um, and then we pop the metal bracket back over and screw that down. So again, those five screws that are in the metal bracket need to go back in place. Next thing we do is pop the battery connector down and the metal bracket back over that. And then you, all you need to do is align the top edge of the screen with the frame, pop it down, and push it down all the way around, pop the two pentalobe screws back in, and that's it, we're done. Thanks for watching.